Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Cookston Crafts. Um, I'm based in Aberdeenshire in the northeast of Scotland and um, I have some yarn to show you today. Um, I have been dyeing yarn now for almost four years and obviously love to be at yarn festivals and also um, teach workshops as well, which is I'm in my uh, workshop space at the moment. Um, hi, I see a few people join in now. Thank you. Um, obviously that's not happening just now and um, I have had to adapt and these live uh, yarn festivals are a great way of um, meeting new people. So today I'm going to show you the um, snow based yarn that um, the Yorkshire Yarn Fest asked us to um, dye up. So this is my snow themed yarn. Um, so it's a really pale, delicate, speckled yarn um, with some dark green and blues through it. And what I did was dye up some mini skeins as well. I've got this um, Lecht Skies one and then I have another one um, called Fur. And I even managed to nervously <laughs> knit a sock. I don't know about you, but I knit when I'm nervous about things. So I knitted this sock so that you can see what these two colours look like knitted up. So it's a really delicate, um, pretty yarn that would be great for, um, could be great for a sweater, but also lace work because there's not too much variation going on in the colours. Um, yeah, so my kind of uh, style of dyeing, if you like. I love highly variegated yarns. I love colour. I love drawing inspiration from um, the Scottish uh, landscape around me. I should probably always hold yarn in my hand when I do this, actually. Um, yeah, so I draw inspiration from the landscape around me. And for this particular show, I decided to um, dye up some highly variegated colours, like this one that's called Fallen Leaves. Um, so there's lots of different tones and speckles through it. But what I wanted to do this time round was to have some tonals that would um, work really well alongside these. And I kind of went to town with that. I think I've got about 10. Anyway, I'll show you those in just a second. So that one was Fallen Leaves and this one is Arctic. So there's some bluey purple kind of colours, a pale green and then some deep dark speckles on that as well. So that's going to be a beautiful, delicate kind of colourway too. Um, one of the, um, I'll turn you around actually and I'll show you all of the, the different colourways. So I've got them all on the table. Uh, two seconds. Right. Um, so this is, what, what I've done is dye up a lot of these colourways, this, for example, on a merino nylon base. Um, and I have some of these available. Some of them have, unfortunately, gone this morning because I updated the website at nine o'clock this morning. But um, all of these are available to order on a pre-order basis. And I'm going to work on updating um, my stock levels over the next couple of weeks. And I've laid out a variety of bases, which I'll over in a few seconds. So everything that you see on here just now is the Merino Nylon um, four ply fingering weight um, base. This is one of the tonals that I think will go really nicely with fallen leaves. That one is called Fig. Um, I've got Barley here. This one is Pumpkin Seed. And with the tonals, I haven't gone, I've called them tonals because I don't really do like semi-solid colour. I can't resist a bit of speckle. I just think it adds a little bit of interest to your work. Um, and this one in particular, um, this is the French Romance colourway that I dyed a few years ago now, actually, but this is one of the popular bases. And it's just got little flecks every so often. Um, and I love this highly variegated effect. This is the bottom of a Tegna sweater that I'm showing you just now. Um, but that one also works really well alongside some of the other more tonal ones too. 
the back row, the purple in the back row. So that one's been super popular. This one is called Periwinkle. Um, and it works really nicely alongside Arctic. Um, that would look beautiful as a stripe, um, I think. And also, that one works really nicely with fur, which is the one that I dyed to go along with snow, which is here. Um, and if you wanted something a little bit softer and more delicate, then frost would be a good option too. Um, and then if you wanted to move into the darker kind of toned blues, then there's this one um, I've called Winter Skies. And you'll find um, some photographs of these um, on my feed, which is um, at Cookston Crafts. And I also filmed a video during the week um, in daylight where I played about with different colours as well so that you can see how they look in daylight because this is a obviously a fluorescent light that they're under just now. And, um, yeah, they will... Yeah, you'll be able to watch those videos. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, this one here is another super popular one, King Louis, with kind of rich mustard and burgundy colours. Um, Helena, you're asking, is there any non-superwash? No, not at the moment, unfortunately. It's all um, superwash. Um, this one is called Mushroom, and this is one of my faves. So as you can see, I absolutely love colour. But this one just has such a, a tone to it that it will work with loads of other colours. Like those three together are just lovely, I think. Work really well with fallen leaves. And even next to, let me pick up that one, next to that one, which is this Libre, um, inspired by thistles. Um, I've got some deep purple colours here. This one's um, called Aubergine. This is a slightly softer and um, pinker tone to it and it has some little um, red and burgundy speckles through it. This one is called Burnished Leaves. I've got Autumn Rose. You've seen this one already, the Fallen Leaves. This is Dram. This is probably one of my most popular colourways, um, inspired by whiskey, obviously. Um, and again, it's just a really nice vibrant bright mustard are they available on dk yes they are so i have all of these available to go right now and um, some of them as i say have been bought already today um, and are out of stock but you'll find on the website which is www.cookstoncrafts.com you'll find a pre-order section um, i think it's at the top of the four ply um, page and you'll be able to order any of these on, uh, well, maybe not all of them, but you'll find a huge array of them available on um, the pre-order listing. So you can order them on, I've got mohair silk, um, I've got a Suri Alpaca lace weight, which I'll show you in a second. I've got a fair bit of lace actually available on the website. And... It's also available, the sparkles are actually showing up on this for a change. Sometimes the sparkles are quite hard to catch on the camera. But this one is called Diva. So all of these are available on a sparkly four-ply base too. Um, I've then got a Merino Silk Singles base. This one is called Don't Buy Me Flowers. Um, this is my standard double knit. This one's called Moonbeam. Again, a really soft, delicate one. That alongside Frost would look beautiful. Let me show you that one. Those two together. Yeah, that would be really nice. Really pretty together. So that one's Moonbeam and that one's Frost. Someone's asking, can we see the snow again? Well, you almost saw real snow um, up here. We are quite near the coast, so we didn't get snow today. Here it is. And I've got the blue next to it, just picks up on the blue speckles that I popped through through it. This one is called Lecht Skies, um, and that's inspired by um, our um, skiing range, probably the nearest skiing resort. And we took a day trip up there when we were allowed to 
um, and it was just stunning. So you can see the image of that. I'll, quite often I'll take a picture of an image and then draw on the colours from that. Um, so you can find that on the Instagram page. And then finally, this one here is called Eucalyptus. Um, I have I have some minis, but only available as a sock set with these. Um, oh, thank you. Will burnished leaves go with French romance? Let's put those two together. Yes, is the answer. Um, I put this combination together for someone earlier on. Look at those two. Gorgeous. French romance and burnished leaves. That's going to look beautiful together. Yeah. Um, I actually, so I've got some of the Suri alpaca down here, the lace weight, and that was just to remind me that I had lots of lace available. Um, here are some of the brighter toned ones. I don't think these are on the actual pre-order, um, but they're all available on the website. This one is called Haddo, which is just our local country park. So it's lots of greens, blues, greys and some speckles through. And the reason I took you over here is because I wanted to show you the range of tonal ones all together. Um, so I'll run through the colourways finally for you. So this one is fig, pumpkin seed, barley, um, eucalyptus, fir, frost, left skies, periwinkle, um, burnished leaves, autumn rose and mushroom. So all of those definitely are on the pre-order. So you can order them on um, four ply, lace, Aran and chunky. So this was the Aran weight um, merino base and here is the, the chunky as well. Everything, as I say, is available on the website. I've got some um, merino yak silk as well. These are quite jewelly toned kind of colours here. Um, and yeah, that's about me. Um, rather than turn the camera around to me, I'm sure you guys want to just see the yarn. So I'll just skim over the top of it again. Um, and yeah, it's all available on the website. The pre-order will be open until Wednesday. I will close it on Wednesday so that I can then start um dyeing up everyone's orders with a view to getting them up for the getting them out for the middle of February. Um oh Rebecca, you're asking what the dark blue is it this one? The dark dark blue one. Um this one is called Storm in a Teal Cup. See what I did there? This one's gorgeous. In fact, this is the same base that I'm wearing at the moment. I'm wearing the bright feather sweater. Um, and it's the colourway sapphire that I knitted it with. Um, and this purpley one is called Vetch. I've got ruby next to it, which just absolutely pops. But it's got such a nice sheen to it. And then this is a new colourway too. This one's called Gerbera. Um, I'm very conscious that we only get 15 minutes to chat. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Um and finish up and hope you all have a lovely weekend but go and have a browse and you'll get free shipping um over the course of this weekend if you use um the code yorkshire yarn fest in fact let me turn you around and i will just show you that um here there we go because it took me so long to print this out back to front i can't not show you it so there's the website um, my Instagram handle and then the code for free shipping on all orders over £30. Um, thanks so much for joining me guys. Um, have a great weekend. Bye.